Hi everybody, welcome to my shed. This is my little corner of paradise, the place I come to when it's freezing cold, tipping down with rain, pitch black outside, or usually all three together to get my Zwift sessions in. And those sessions are about to get a lot more interesting because I've just been sent a Wahoo kicker bike. Without further ado, let's get it set up and I'll give you a closer look. I was half expecting this to be a bit of a mission to put together just because of its size, but I'm not sure it could have been that much simpler. All I needed to do was to attach these two rear legs using the bolts provided. Then fit the handlebar and seat post. It was then a case of adjusting everything to my size, a job that was easily and accurately done via the Wahoo app. Here's what I did. There are a few options to set up the kicker bike for the perfect fit, either by using data from a professional bike fit, or the more accessible option of using the app to measure your current bike, with recommendations then based on the app's calculations. So once the bike is centred, you take a picture, then through each step, line up the crosshairs on screen with various areas of the bike, including the middle of the saddle, middle of the front hub, the bottom bracket, and where the stem meets the handlebar. Once the app processes this information, it then offers guidance on how to set things up with the kicker bike, which is all done really easily without the need for any tools, or more importantly, too much faffing. First thing to adjust is the standover height. Then the saddle height. Then the setback. Then reach. Then the stack height. Then it's onto the crank length. There are five options for crank length from 165 mil to 175 mil. Once all that's done, you customise the shifters to match what you have on your road bike. So in my case, SRAM E-TAP. The kicker bike then mimics the shifting of E-TAP when you're riding and changing gears. Then you set the kicker bike's chain ring and cassette size, and you're pretty much ready to ride. Zwift has been an absolute godsend for me over the past few months, especially through the cold, dark days of lockdown, which now we've been plunged into again. Recently, I've been grinding out the miles on Zwift's Training Academy, an eight-week program which I'll be able to round out using the kicker bike. But for its maiden voyage, I thought I'd take it up an old favourite of mine, Watopia's Mountain Route. I'll spare you the footage of me sweating and breathing heavily and just pick out some of the highlights from a first ride. One of the most noticeable and arguably most important features is the quality of ride feel on offer. In other words, how it mimics the feeling of riding outdoors. The kicker bike reacts quickly to changes in gradient, with the unit instantly raising and lowering to match your on-screen world. Here's a quick demo of it in operation. 
it can go up to 20% gradient right down to minus 15%. It's a really cool feature which provides a more immersive experience than just sitting in the same position whatever the gradient. Another highlight is how well the shift-in mimics a SRAM ETAP setup and how quickly the virtual gears engage when you tap the shifter. It's really impressive. Something else to note is the noise this thing makes, or rather the lack of it. Instead of the usual mechanical whir of metal on metal, its quiet motor simply purrs away as you work out. There you go, we're all set up, the sweat net is on, I mean business. Now it's time to ride a few more hundred miles in Zwift using the Wahoo Kicker Bike. I don't think I've been as excited about a piece of cycling tech as I have with this in a long time. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below.